Hey guys, and welcome to today's video. So this is going to be a video over the course of a few days because I'm introducing you to a new horse named Mav. So I'm just walking towards him, but I'll give you a little bit of information first. You guys know Mav's mum very well. Mav's mum is Katie, the grey mare that I was competing last summer. So Katie is owned by a friend of mine called Brona and as you guys might remember, she was in foal last year when I was riding her, but like very early pregnancy. This obviously is not that full. <laughs> that foal was born and is a gorgeous filly called Ivy. I'll put a little picture in. So this is her three-year-old foal. So she had a foal and then I rode her for a bit while she was in foal. And now she really is just living out her days as a broodmare. Um, but this is Mav, so that's short for Maverick. Um, he is obviously out of Cady. He's by a stallion called Dallas VDL, who is a very, very nice stallion. And here he is. He is the cutest boy. So he's gelding. As you can see, he's kind of black, but he will very, very slowly turn gray. He is three years old, as I said. And this isn't going to be one of those breaking videos where the person's rodeoing around and, you know, it takes a long time to even put a halter on him. This boy is very well handled <laughs> and loves people, loves getting treats and scratches. So Brona's made my job very, very, very easy. So the plan is to spend the next, I think, six or seven weeks breaking him in, getting him, obviously just riding under saddle, a bit of walk trot canter, over some poles, things like that. <laughs> and uh, then he's gonna go out on a break for the winter while I'm in Australia. And then the plan, everything going to plan, is for me to ride him next year as a four-year-old and do some shows and he may possibly be for sale at that stage, but we'll see how it goes. Um, so yeah, I'm very, very excited. It's really fun to have this project um, while I'm waiting for my babies to be old enough to ride. So yeah, it's quite exciting. Like this year I have Mav to break in and then next year it'll be Wiggy's turn. He'll be three and then it'll be Delphi's turn. She'll be three and then it'll be Zephy's turn. He'll be three. So yes, yeah, so the plan is to kind of have one a year. It just takes a long time to get to that point because Got to breed them, got to wait for them to get old enough. Um, but yeah, he's the starting point, which is quite exciting. So I'm going to bring him in now. He, I've this, he arrived yesterday, so I've really done nothing with him, but I've met him a couple of times before, so I know what he's like. He's very friendly. So I'll probably just bring him in, pop a roller, bridle on him, get, let him get used to that. I usually just leave it on them and they just kind of mooch around the stable and eat hay and just get used to it all. Um, moving their body in different ways with it on and then I might bring him out for a little lunch I think he has actually lunged before so that shouldn't be too difficult but we'll just see where he's at and do a bit of groundwork in that so it'll just be groundwork for a couple of days um, probably a week or two and then we'll start thinking about lying over him and stuff so yeah but I'll bring you guys along on the process um, also everyone breaks horses so differently so don't need People giving me advice. I have broken in many, many, many horses. I've broken in Cal, Dali, and many in between before and after them. So um, I kind of just have my way of doing it and it's what works for me. So yeah, excited to get cracking on. So he's got his bridle on. He's a bit confused. He's figuring out this mouth, this bit. This feels a bit funny. What is this? Yeah, I don't think there's any point trying to lunge them and stuff when, look, he's so thinking about the bit. So I just leave him here. He has hay and water and he just will mooch around now and get used to that in his mouth. Um, so that when I do do anything with him, he's not all distracted and thinking about the bit. He's just used to it. It's just like it becomes normal and um, a normal feeling. So yeah, I'll just, um, I just have some jobs to do around the yard, a bit of mucking out and stuff. So I'll just be in and out and making sure he's okay and i'll catch up with him in a little bit when he's just gotten has a bit of time to get used to it hello 
He's actually just heard a noise, which is a lot more interesting than the bit. Yeah. Yeah, you saw that very quickly. Just had it on like two seconds. He has definitely been lunched before. <laughs> he knew what to do straight away. And he's very relaxed about it all. Interestingly, whoever taught him to lunge, it wasn't Brona, she sent him last year to just do a bit of handling. Never taught him to lunge on the right rein. <laughs> so he's perfect on the left rein, but we have now just been trying. This is like 15 minute, 20 minutes worth of work to get him just to walk around me on the right rein. He's very confused, bless him. But this is the best he's gone now. Before he was going sideways, he was trying to turn around, he was stopping and starting, he was jumping forward and then hitting the brakes. Oh my gosh. And trying to turn like this. Just walking a circle, mate. So easy. Good boy. Good boy. A little stretch. Start them young here, the stretching. Good boy. Hey guys, so the next few clips are just over the next week. This is his first time with the saddle on. I didn't get a video of me putting the saddle on, but this is basically immediately after the saddle went on. What I like to do is just move their feet, um, just turn them in a circle around me. This is something I do on the groundwork so they understand what I'm asking them. And it just means that when they move the first time, they're kind of moving in a relaxed way and they don't, they tend not to, you know, bolt forward or get a fright. Here I'm just making some noise, patting the saddle. Here you can see, you know, he, he gets a little bit worried with the noise of it and um, takes some getting used to. It's when I look back on this and now when I go and tack him up, I just throw the saddle on him and <laughs> make all the noise in the world and he doesn't mind. But at the start, he was quite nervous about the noise of it. This was another day. This was his first time trotting, you know, lunging with the saddle on, with it bouncing around, making lots of noise. He, this is him after he'd settled. He did have a little bit of a spook. You'll see in a minute what he kind of does. He kind of scoots forward um, just when he hears a bit of a noise, just like that. But he does tend to just settle down pretty quickly. Um, even when he has a little bit of a buck, he just kind of tends to just chill out himself. Um, I just say, whoa, but he kind of relaxes himself. He's a very good boy. And then this is just a bit on the left rein, um, the same. There's no problem at all. Um, also, he doesn't know the voice cues yet on the lunge. So basically what I do is I just say, whoa, and then I'll use the rope to just encourage him to slow down. Um, and then slowly but surely they tend to they tend to get it and pick it up. That whoa means to go down a pace. Whoa, good boy. Good boy. Mm, he's another cow. <laughs> oh, you got sand in your nose. So then this clip is just a bit of the groundwork that I do. I usually, I just do this every day before or after I lunge. Um, just basically turning him, getting him to cross his hind leg underneath him and bend his neck and move through the rib cage. And just be nice and relaxed. It just really helps when it comes to riding him that he knows how to move his body in that way. A bit of backing up is important with with him, especially because he can be a little bit on top of you. Um, and then this is him just getting some cuddles because he is just the sweetest boy. <laughs> with the hosing, he was not having any of the hosing when I first started. It took a long time for me to even touch him with the water. He was... I don't know, he thought it was acid coming out, but as you can see here, I just have it on a little low trickle and now I'm able to spray him, no problem, but it took a little bit of time. This is him seeing a water tray for the first time. I've never met a horse <laughs> like that, couldn't care less about it. He um, just wanted to investigate it, lick it, bite it, and each time I just encouraged him 
you know, I would just click to get him to either move forward or interact with it. If he did either of those things, I just rewarded him by relaxing all the pressure. And then good he just said, boy, oh, come on over, it's no problem. And I gave <laughs> him a treat. Such a good boy. All right, here's your treats. Well done. Then we just do a little bit of lunging over the water tray just so he goes over on his own good. without following me. And again, it was absolutely no problem. This is obviously a very tiny circle. It wasn't really set up for lunging, but I thought I would just do a little bit right. to get him used to it. And he was a super boy. Good. Good boy. This next clip is just him trotting with the tack on again, but this time over a pole. I just try to get them lunging over absolutely anything I can because you might as well introduce all this stuff early on rather than it being a big deal when you're on the horse and you know they've never actually gone over a pole or trot poles before. Um, I think it's just best to introduce it all at the start. This is the first time jumping up and down beside him. This is actually a clip after, you know, I'd already done it for a little bit before I set out filming. Um, he was very nervous at the start, really, really nervous. And you can even see it there. He's still worried, even though I'd been doing it for a little while at this point. But I would just, you know, give him a little breaks, give him reward, paths. And, you know, he trusts me and he, he knows, you know, in his heart that I'm not going to do anything to hurt him. But he just does get worried um and his little face when he turns around to look at me and I give him pat is so cute but bless him he's just a little bit of a warrior especially with the noise up behind him but he does settle down here I'm you know pat not banging on the saddle with my hand making lots of noise and he's a very good boy stays still for me then here I'm just you know using my jacket it's a very loud jacket um making lots and lots of noise you know, he's good in that, you know, he's trying to stay still and he's trying to be good, but he really is worried. So as soon as he stays still, I just leave it there on his back and I give him a rub and he gives me a lick and a chew. Um, but yeah, he just is a horse that, I'll, you know, I'll do, do plenty of desensitizing with him. Um, hopefully when I get up on him, I won't be as, you know, making crazy moves like my jacket is right now, but <laughs> better, you know, be over prepared. And then when I'm up on him, hopefully I'll be nice and quiet and he'll be happy enough with that. And you can see here, you know, like very quickly, he's gotten used to that now. He's a lot more relaxed. The head's down. He's not quite as worried. He's still listening with his ears, but he doesn't have that, you know, big stress anymore. And I'm, you know, putting it all over him and he's being very, very good. Hey guys, so I'm here with Mav. You will have just watched what we've been up to for the last week. As you can see, he's made good progress. We are now, you know, lunging with tack. Um, he's been doing lots of groundwork, lots of kind of desensitizing over water trays and stuff. He really exceeded expectations with that because he can be very, he can be spooky enough. You know, he, if he hears a noise, he'll, he'll, you know, have a little run. And it's kind of, I find it really interesting with the young horses. They kind of all have their own kind of go-to response to when they're a little bit stressed and you know some horses will stop you know go backwards rear you know that kind of like a backwards response and some horses are more of a forward thinker so if they see something scary they're just gonna run um, and that's definitely his way of thinking um, even the first time I hosed him you know he was just trying to just walk he was like I'm just going 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 I don't want I don't want to be doing this and he was just walking walking you know walking through me um, but it was just him being anxious um, and not really knowing what to do with it. And then it's the same if he gets a little spook, he'll just run. That's his go-to as opposed to stopping and going backwards. Um, but he's been really, really good. And I think that kind of is a good kind of response in some ways, like with the water tray. I think he doesn't even think to stop and go backwards. I think he's just like, well, I'm moving forward. I'm going over it. And it kind of ends up being kind of... Um, good but I do feel like with those kind of horses it's easy to think that they're confident because they're going over things but actually some of it can be you know they're going over it but they're actually very worried and I want him to always be going forward but in a confident way um, not forward out of fear or worry so that's what he's been up to he's obviously a very sweet boy very good but I 
do need to remember he is only three and he hasn't seen the world so you know you can't be rushing him he definitely needs a lot of like groundwork and base work um with the desensitizing and just he can be quite sharp in that kind of way which is good we want him sharp and a sharp show jumper um but he just needs to yeah get get stay confident and start learning about the world and he really needs a haircut i have not got around to that yet but it is in the works so yeah he's a lovely boy a couple more weeks of groundwork i think and then um you know um over the next week or two i'll start like lying over him jumping beside him just getting him used to the idea of me possibly being on his back and then it'll be time to get up so i'll be sure to film as much as i can and keep you guys updated and i hope you enjoyed meeting the new boy um and yeah i'm excited to have him so i hope you enjoy i hope you guys enjoyed the video and make sure to like comment subscribe and i will see you in the next one bye guys say bye mavi Thanks. Also, my parents have been calling him Ricky because his name's Maverick, and they're like, Mav, no, I think he's more of a Ricky. So, calling him Ricky Boy. But anyway, <laughs> is that your new name? I'll call him Mav Brona, don't worry. <laughs> okay, see you guys.